सो हाई गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एंड आई एम बैक अगेन विद अनदर रियली इंटरेस्टिंग कोडिंग इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन वीडियो गाइज दिस इज वन ऑफ द टॉप इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन आज इन मल्टीपल कंपनीज एंड इट इज पार्ट ऑफ लीड कोड ईजी लेवल क्वेश्चन लिस्ट एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व इट राइट हेयर इन दिस वीडियो सो गाइज इफ यू लाइक माई कॉन्टेंट एंड यू वॉन्ट टू सपोर्ट मी आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू प्लीज टेक प्लीज टू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल हिट द बेल आइकन फॉर फर्दर नोटिफिकेशन ऑल्सो गाइज प्लीज डू नॉट फॉर गेट टू गिव दिस वीडियो अ बिग थम्स अप एंड ऑल्सो प्लीज शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड्स एज वेल अदर दैन दैट इफ यू हैव एनी कॉमेंट्स सजेशंस फीडबैक एनीथिंग यू वॉन्ट टू से टू मी प्लीज पुट दम इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन बिलो आई वुड बी हैप्पी टू एड्रेस दैम now without wasting any time further let's get started so first let's have a look at the problem statement guys the problem statement says that we have to implement something called as str str which basically means that we have to find out the index of a string inside another string so basically we are given a string called as haystack which is a longer string and then we are given another string called as needle which could be of same length or shorter than the haystack string and we have to find out the first index where this exact same string occurs inside the haystack string so here you can see that double l string comes here at index number 2 so 0 1 and then at index number 2 we will see the double l string appears in haystack string hello and guys another example here is where we have a needle uh, string called as bba but the haystack string is not having that string inside it so in that case we have to return minus 1 and then there is another uh, you know corner case scenario when both the string are empty in that case we have we are returning zero why because uh, this string is actually inside haystack string but at zeroth index and that is why we are outputting zero the constraints are pretty straightforward also both haystack and needle are from length 0 to 5 into 10 to the power 4 and they only consist of lower case english characters so because they can have such a long length we will definitely try to solve this question in a minimum amount of time complexity in that case we would try to only use one single pass or order of n time complexity to actually find out if needle uh, you know present uh, inside the haystack or not so let's come to the solution guys and let's get started so the first thing is we just have to know if our haystack is null or not so if basically haystack string is an empty string or it is you know null so in that case we can you know just return zero here and uh, so basically if haystack is null we can just simply return zero other than that we will create two arrays so one array is called as the haystack array in which we will just convert the haystack into a character array using a function called as haystack dot to char array now we are simply going to do the same thing for our needle as well and we will create another array called as the n array so one uh, is your haystack array another is your needle array now we will create two pointers guys so one pointer will actually traverse the haystack which we will name as i and another pointer j will actually traverse the needle which we will call as j we will run both the pointers until any one of the array is completely traversed that means while i is less than h array dot length and n while j is less than n array dot length so if in case my haystack array is completely finished but my needle array is not yet finished what i will do i will simply break this loop and come out uh, how and uh, in case my uh, needle array is completely traversed then i will also break this loop and come out now guys we will simply check if the haystack array element so oh, sorry so basically we will see if h array at ith position is actually equal equal to n array at jth position so basically if the character of uh, 
haystack array is equal to the character of the needle array or not so if in case both the characters are equal we will increase the pointer of both i and j and we will start going to compare the next character okay but if any time we find out that uh, the both the characters that means a haystack uh, uh, string character is not equals to the needle uh, string character in that case we will simply set uh, our pointers to a different position so basically this means uh, that whatever string of i so until now we have traversed i from you know 0 to jth length right and that length is simply unreasonable it's not correct because uh, at some point of time it is not going to match the needle so that's why we will simply reduce the i position by i equals to i minus j plus 1 because uh, until now so if we continue this while loop what will happen uh, we will continue this if condition until we keep on finding out the same character in h array and n array that means a haystack and needle but if in case the haystack character is not equals to the needle character it means that uh, the length of the array which we have traversed until now that is until j right so 0 to j uh, until that length in case of our haystack array that is not matching my needle array any further so i will reset my th pointer to the position where it was i minus j but i will increase it with one so that we start comparing the haystack array from the next position okay so let's suppose if i go here in case of hello i started from zeroth position to compare with my needles zeroth position uh, character so if h is not equals to ll i will simply come back to a uh, haystack array and increase its ith position ith value from 0 to 1 okay so i was 0 before j was also 0 before so 0 minus 0 plus 1 so basically i will come here at this position i will come here and from now i will start comparing the haystack array from e to uh, you know from uh, i will start from here so i will start comparing e with ll and because e is also not equals to l again i will reset my ith value uh, and how i will reset my ith value now my ith value is 1 and i minus j where j is equals to 0 so 1 minus 0 is becomes equals to 1 but i will increment it so now my ith value will come to l that means at 2 position and now i will compare this l with the needle l and because it is equal now i will increment i also so now my i will become equal to 3 and i will increment j also so my j will become equal to 1 and because these two are again equal and now my j will reach uh, will traverse the entire needle array it is completed so i will simply jump out of this loop but i hope now you understand why i am incrementing i to i minus j plus 1 because we are simply nullifying the 0 to j array which we have traversed so far because now <coughs> in this position h array i is not matching n array j now what will we do with j so j we will simply reset to 0 because until uh, now uh, j was not matching the uh, you know the jth character was not matching the ith character so we have to traverse the entire needle array again so that is why i am setting j back to 0 so that when we start uh, from the next ith position in the haystack array my jth position in the needle array will start from 0 we have to start the needle array comparison from the 0th position again if we come to this else portion now guys finally when this while loop will get completed in the end we will come here in this position either because my whole needle array is traversed because j becomes equals to needle array dot length or if my whole haystack array is traversed that means my i has become equal to h array dot length 
but we only have to return true or return uh, the index if j is become equal equals to n array dot length that means my whole needle array was being traversed in this while loop that basically means that my needle array is inside my haystack array and if j is equal equals to n array dot length basically the index will be what the index will be i minus j right that will be my first index first occurrence of the needle array wherever the i is you just reduce the length of the needle array from that so i minus j and what it what it will give you it will simply give you the first position where the needle array get started inside the haystack array now guys in case i don't encounter this if condition in case my needle array is not found in my haystack array simply return minus 1 and now let's run this code guys and let's see if this works or not so it is running and you can see guys that my answer matches the expected answer now let's click on submit and let's see if the submission result is also accepted and yes guys it is accepted so let's see some details and so here we are guys our runtime is pretty acceptable i don't know why it's coming like this but previously it was good and my memory usage is also not that great looking here but i'm sure this is one of the acceptable solutions which we can use for this type of question you can also use something called as a Uh, in java uh, in java we have functions like substring uh, which you can also use to compare the rest of the substring in this case of hadle knee stack uh, needle uh, haystack needle question and uh, but i didn't use that because in some of the languages you do not really have that kind of flexibility to use inbuilt functions like substring or uh, you know index of but you if you already have uh, that kind of flexibility in your programming language you can definitely use them while solving these type of questions so that was the video guys i hope you enjoyed this video you learned something from it and it probably might have helped you to prepare for your coding interviews much better and in the end i again request you guys to please subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon for further notifications Also guys please do give this video a big thumbs up and share it with your friends as well. If you have any comments suggestions feedback anything you want to say to me please write them in the comment section below. I post video every day here from Monday to Friday regarding any coding or programming related content. So that's about me guys. I hope you enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching guys. Until next time. Bye bye.